work order. No cool. After further investigation, we determined that the wire from the outdoor condensing unit coming in to the air handler somewhere in the chase has either got a nail or a screw and every strand is broken. So what we've done to correct that instead of having to run, now granted this is a second floor unit. So what we've done is we've actually taken this thermostat wire out and we went with a Honeywell wireless kit. So basically you just come back in to in install the float switch. What we've done is we just break power between red. Everything else will connect normally. Fan goes to fan, heat goes to heat, etc. Once we got that installed, put that cover back on. You come in, and this is the where it connects. Now, right now, it's saying that we're not connected. That's because we have the disconnect pulled at the air handler. Once power has been resumed in the air handler, then this module will get the 24 and the common that it needs to connect to the outside module. Now, granted, this again, this is a second floor unit, and I think Honeywell claims that this goes up to about 400 feet of range, and this saved us so much more time. See, now that we've connected power back, system is now back and cool. What's going on, everybody? Just wanted to do an overview of this outside module on the Honeywell wireless kit that we installed. So just to kind of recap, we had a no AC call come in, determined that the thermostat wire coming from the outdoor condensing unit to the air handler was broke. Every strand was no bueno. So uh, we had to rule out the uh, thermostat wire. We could have run new thermostat wire, but we got to take in. Granted, that was a second floor unit, so we decided to go with this Honeywell wireless kit with the red link. And I basically want to just go over how it set up and how you hook it up. So basically what you're going to do is let's start with the transformer. So basically we have to install a exterior transformer. We use line voltage coming from the bottom of the contactor. We pull the high voltage from there to high voltage of the transformer. Transformer then powers down, um, transfers down to 24 volts. We bring that 24 volts in to the module. Now the, the transformer is used only to bring in power to the module. And basically the way we do that is you got J and R. J and R has a jumper for the compressor. And then you got common. So basically the common coming from the thermostat. Um, I mean, excuse me, the common coming from the transformer and common coming from the junction box down here that ties in will go to this outdoor module. When you get power here and get power to the thermostat, you connect it, you sync it, and that's what sends the wireless signal between the two they communicate. And then basically Y hooks up to Y and then you got O hooks up to OB for reversion valve. And then your W hooks into D, which is defrost. So basically what that does is when this is in heat mode and it goes through a defrost cycle, this will send a signal back uh, to turn auxiliary heat on and it'll run the heat strips while the system's going through a defrost. Um, and then we've got 24 volts coming in. What I basically had to do is uh, bring everything together and then pigtail off of it to run into my R because the lug was too small to fit jumper and the other two wires in coming from the transformer. So that's basically the gist of it out here at the outside module. Like I said, you'll connect everything normally in the Goodman unit down here in that junction box there. And then you basically just bring everything back up here <coughs> and connect it all there. And, uh, that's pretty much it. This system saved us a lot of time. Uh, it, it definitely uh, even saved us money at the end of the day. 
and the system works flawlessly. Uh, very happy with the system and how it operates. I just wanted to go over everything and how it connects. Uh, pretty simple setup. If you got Goodman units, because Goodman units, uh, there's not much to them. You know, there are other systems out there that are more complex that, um, and then you got accessories too that you can tie into the system if you, um, as an option if you want to. But I hope everybody has a great day. I just wanted to touch base with this. If you like this video and it was very helpful, please uh, smash that like button. Uh, also subscribe, click that bell icon, so that way you get notifications for uh, new content that we put out. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.